Yo, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to the final episode of the Cup 12 Track Championship Mode. Now, I know this is the race number nine at the Charlotte Roval. However, as you all may know, tomorrow is launch day. Heat 5 is upon us. And technically, you can download it here in 12 minutes. So, or at least where I'm at. Um, my time zone, 12 minutes. So, hopefully, we can actually have a a fun end of the night stream for you know send off a uh, heat for we have the charlotte roval like i said the final final race for heat four and this was actually the first track first trick <laughs> first track i ever raced at in heat four so it's fitting that we end heat four with where we began so without further ado this is 54 laps it's a 50 percent race of this race <laughs> and yeah let's just uh get started on this the rarla trouble yeah totally totally bro you got me right there the rarla trouble dude uh what is that what like what what's next is it like, gonna be the uh bindianapolis course row because at that point we might as well just uh go all the way and uh, just start making up concepts. Which, by the way, let me just say right now that the Indy should go to the road course. That was primo racing. The y the Yik Yard uh, 400. Um, more like, oh, wait, isn't wasn't that race like sponsored? It wasn't like sponsored, but like a big machine hand sanitizer was like all over. Uh, was all over, correct? Wouldn't, uh, isn't that actually, like, Big Machine, like, didn't they used to have, like, vodka? Didn't they, like, used to make it? We're gonna do a sound check. Alright, perfect. Because like, I'm pretty sure, like, Big Machine Vodka was, like, the sponsor for last, uh, last race. Yeah, the big, yeah, it was Big Machine Hand Sanitizer and Big Machine Vodka. Whatever happened to that? Dude, 25% distilled? Oh my god, you got me fucked up with that. <laughs> One sip of that and I'm out. They changed the distilleries uh, up to make hand sanitizer because of COVID. Oh, okay, well then, well, I mean, I assumed that was what, what was happening. I just didn't want to, like, be that asshole that would actually be like, Oh yeah, totally, that's why they did it, you know, without having my facts straight. But, um, okay, well that makes a lot more sense now. Because, like, I know Big Machine Vodka sponsored the, uh, um, last year's, uh, Brickyard. And, I'll tell you what, Jack, like, okay, well, let's just get the monkey out of the room now. Um, and but get the monkey out of the room? Get the elephant out of the room. I swear, I know what I'm talking about. Um, what? Did you guys like the race yesterday? Or was that a, uh, was it a big of a snooze fest? What, what, what do you guys think? A scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate yesterday's race? Because honestly, I think I would give the race, like if we were talking like Jeff Gluck uh, scale, I would give it like a 6. Yeah, CTA gives it like a 6. Austria 10? Dude. Okay. We, we're, we're, we're about to fight. <laughs> that's that's what i'm saying right now um because i don't think austria was a 10 it was it was more like a battle of attrition than anything like remember like darlington like the f uh second darlington that's basically what it was or um hell do you remember uh 2019 uh the truck uh daytona race that was basically what Austria was. It was a battle of attrition, uh, survival of the fittest. Guitarok, welcome, man. Uh, Harvick's off pit stop is uh, what made it interesting for me. Re I know. Um, well, he because he was already in the back of the pack and he knew that uh well him and rodney childers which rodney childers is like the new cole pern like i swear because cole pern like just being done now with the sport he's like nah someone has to take up a spot and basically that's gonna be what rodney childers is because rodney 
realized that you know track position was everything at Indy, and here we are, um, like back in the pack. I think what he was like outside the top ten at one point. He pit, and then literally went and basically won the race. I'm not saying because of that, but because track position was so important and being out front in that clean air was so important that he that's basically him winning the race right there. TA saying uh, Albin versus Hamilton, the European scuffle. Oh my god. Albin... <laughs> I think that's... I mean, like, I hate it. I hate it for Albin. He did not deserve that. My guy. But... I think it's just funny that it was Hamilton again denying him a podium. I'm just like, are you kidding me? I was watching that live. I'm just like, oh my god, it's a repeat of Brazil. <laughs> Literally, it's exactly. It was exactly the same too. And then Lewis Hamilton got dinged again and lost his podium because of it as I totally uh, butcher the uh, bus stop right there. That was awful. Getting to the side of Daniel Suarez, you know, no, not a big deal. Milky Boy podium. Oh my God, Lando Norris. Lando Norris making it, t making himself the third, uh, what is it called? The third youngest podium earner. Mm, that, you know, I, I like Lando. I like Lando. What's up, NASCAR is cool. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, man. Um, I like Lando. Like his, I'm like, what, what was this tweet? Um, Lando Norris, not Twitch, Twitter. That's what I want because it was basically about yeah, like right, right here. I uh, can't believe I went from full-time Twitch streamer to third youngest ever podium uh, F1 podium finisher in a matter of days. Dude, like, this guy... You're stressed? Why are you stressed? NASCAR is cool. Like, Lando is a mean god, and I love it. It's, it's his personality. I love his personality. Hostin, no good. Which one? Um, NASCAR or uh, F1? Trick question. Neither of them did good. Because... Okay. TA, let's be honest here. Haas is not going to do well until Grosjean and Magnussen are both out. And then in terms of uh, NASCAR, uh, Stuart Haas, um, it's not going to be good until Eric Almirola, Clint Boyer are gone. Because, you know, they're fine. Um, like, Kevin Harvick is literally holding that team together. Family 2020, Jimmy Johnson... Oh, I, I, I totally get you, NASCAR is cool. I, I wish. I wish so much that Allgaier had an actual chance to race in that race. Which, I mean, that whole pit road scuffle um, was literally the last thing I expected uh, going in. I mean, like, I know it was the most narrow pit road and, like, something was bound to happen. But, like, thank God that um that ryan blaney's pick crew member like only and i know how this sounds only has a fractured knee everyone avoiding and then what was what was it that ryan ryan blaney had to say let me look up ryan blaney real quick because he actually did uh ba -ba -ba -ba. uh what was it? it? Wasn't that? Damn. Okay, he must he must have deleted it, Be, um, because I literally, literally saw that uh, Ryan Blaney in response to hearing the injury uh, of his pick remember, he was just like, he'll be fine, like in a very monotone voice. I'm just like, dude, Ryan, what are you doing? You get me like that, man. People are watching. Uh, TA says, Eric Almirola might have a shot, but Boyer is only still there because he's funny. <laughs> because of his personality? I think it's also... Yeah, I mean, like, well, yeah. Maybe. I don't think it's necessarily because he's funny. I think it's because... 
I think it's because he's charismatic and it works for him, you know? Um, NASCAR is cool, it says, God bless the Lord. Dude, same. I mean, like, literally, that was, it was a scary, it was a scary scene. Like, I was not expecting that. I was at work at the time of the race. I came home and literally I started, I cranked up the race and with, within that first competition caution, I see what was it like four cars oh no it was like five cars right here he tweeted that they were warriors i, I saw that but like what was it was, did i get it from nascar reddit give me one on a second chat i'm about to do some deep diving right here um uh b -b 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 nope i mean of course like we all know what's going on with bubble walls and donald trump don't even get me started on that oh my god <sighs> Literally the most idiotic thing I've ever seen. Oh, Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells. Where was it? There's Barstool, which is also idiotic. There's Benny Parsons' son one right there. Nope, that's not it. Uh, hell's bells, chat. It's here somewhere. Oh yeah, there is this uh, introspective look at uh, love wins every time, dude. Right. Bub Bubba's tweet um, in response to that has more likes and retweets than Trump's actual response, and I think that is a thing of beauty. Uh, what do I play on? Uh, this is on PS4, my guy. PS4. Um, hopefully, hopefully, this uh, good luck that we've had with Heat 4 can transfer over to Heat 5 tomorrow. Ah, I can't find a chat. It must have been taken down. I could have swore I saw... Um, I saw something about that, uh, um, about that, uh, whole mess that Ryan Blaney said. I, I don't know. But yeah, I saw that he said that them guys are warriors, but like, I want, was it Jeff Gluck? Was it Jeff Gluck that said that? Because I know Gluck, like, hates Blaney, so like, that makes sense. Like, if it was him. Uh, Bubba Wallace... Yep. Uh, no, I can't guess it wasn't Jeff Gluck. Is this the only race you're doing? Uh, for tonight, yes. Um, but I have, I do a lot of um, a lot of races. I usually don't race. Uh, uh, bubble wall trip senior. Oh my god. That is a that is a cursed name right there. We don't talk about that. Um I actually NASCAR is cool. I usually race uh, hundred percent races. Just in the meantime, I've been test kinda testing out this and I think I feel like this is a good uh uh basis to kinda go on for uh NASCAR Heat Five. Kinda doing like this whole broadcast style where I show both my POV and a separate video and stream the actual broadcast of this right here. So uh, I think it I think it kind of works. So Heat Five is gonna be a lot of streams kind of like this, but whenever I stream, it's only gonna be 100% races. I'm not gonna be streaming 50%. This is a shorter race, I know. So like these 50% have been just a kind of a test run. I usually do 100% though. So yeah, <laughs> just getting that out there. Um, when uh, we when we do Heat Five, and I will be streaming that, of course. It'll be the longer races, 100% race length. Fun stuff. So, like, technically, this race would be a 110 laps. But we want Classic Patton back. But Classic as in, like, race in there. Dude, my upload speed is trash. You're not going to have good quality. And I want the best quality for you guys, you know? I mean, I'm doing what I can, my guy. 
I mean, I'm still commentating on, um, on the race right now because, like, literally, as a, like every lap that goes on by, and uh, every lap that goes on by, my car gets looser and looser. You can literally see the back end kick out every time. Um, every time, like, I get off the corners, like, you're gonna see it, like, a lot coming off the bus stop and as well the final corner is that why you've been doing it this way yes because like my upload speed is like trash so like because how because of the reason why i can do it like this is that the camera changes so like if you like full screen i don't know like whatever you if you watch like on desktop it looks totally different um but like if you full screen it um eventually the uh the screen pixelates but since the camera's constantly changing it doesn't do it and it actually has a clearer picture and even then like i can even uh i can even take away overlays so I'll, like give you a uh, a better view and not only that because like i said i also do tape my uh I do uh, tape my uh, POV, so like, if you guys do want to see my POV, it's just in a separate video, you know? Fun stuff, fun stuff. But yeah, that, but that's the reason why I do it. You know, I don't, I don't want to give you guys trash quality because like, there have been plenty of uh, races that I was doing that like everything that like i was giving out was pixelating and it was trash to look at you couldn't make out a gosh dang thing so you know here we are i'm still i'm still racing obviously and you guys still get to see it just in a different kind of way But yeah, uh, let's talk about how much of a death trap that uh, Austria was. Man, that is setting up uh, Austria 2 Electric Boogaloo so well. I am so looking forward to that. Quick sound check. Um, like, literally, I'm so looking forward. Like, what's the official name of it? TA, yeah, you would know this off the top of your head. Yeah, because I know it's the mountain range. Um, it's the mountain range uh, that Austria set in Grand Prix, but I don't know the mountain ranges off the top of my head. Three safety... I know, three safety cars. It was trash. What was this, Hockenheim? It was actually worse than Hockenheim because more people did that. <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, Austrian GP this weekend is the uh, Star is the Steinmark GP. Okay, I knew it was the mountain range that uh, Spielberg is uh, is in. I just couldn't remember exactly what it was. So there we go. Answer my question. Perfect. Oh, Steermark. Here. Steermark. Okay. No, that's not. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right there. Cool. Perfect. Steermark. Is it the same uh, distance? Is it is it another 71 lapper? Because like let's be honest here, if Max Verstappen didn't like lose power like 5 laps in, I feel like he probably would have won. Because I he definitely could have overtook Oh, actually I don't know. That's so that's such a tough question because um, literally everything would have changed if Max Verstappen didn't just DNF right there. Oh, I don't know. Albin, Albin definitely would not have gotten on the podium. Like, for sure, even with Lewis Hamilton <laughs> um, basically bullying him off the road. Um, it definitely would not have helped things. It's also, it's also going to be 71 laps? Perfect. Oh, man, right here. You can, you can hear it in my brakes and get loose, and we're good. Correct it, correct it, correct it. We're good. That, like I said, Chad, this is me getting loose, like, every single lap that we go on by. Um, because I set this car up so tight in the beginning of the run, and this is a 
like a typical run around here is about like 16 17 laps so each lap that ticks on by we are losing more and more grip in the tires and it is <laughs> right now the car is feeling like trash every corner is a slip and slide like car kicks out right there um verstappen would have had a podium i i definitely agree with that verstappen if he if he wouldn't have won he definitely would have got a podium um and, that, and that's not even a question that's just fact at that point um but um what's it called lewis hamilton it, i feel like uh do you think that um botas still would have won T.A. redeemed a fact to tell you 2,000. All right, T.A., what do you want to know about today? Give me your topic. God. World Wars? Okay. Um. Let's see here. Any one in particular, or which one? World one or two or three? Because I got the inside scoop on three, my boy. And I think Botas would have won regardless without gearbox issues, maybe Hamilton. I mean, I don't know. That's such a tough question, honestly, because uh, Hamilton, I feel like kind of screwed himself. Because he did. He screwed the pooch on. Uh, on taking Albin out, and then times that by two with being told to stay behind, um, to stay behind Botas, that really did not think. I wanted to hear about three, but I'll let you choose uh, uh, which of the first two we get. Okay, um, well, I mean, as we all know, we almost did come to World War Three, and, uh, with, um, uh, and we, hang on, hang on, chat. Throwing my Larry McRonald voice because we got caution. Yes, so this is where William Byron blows a engine and he's out for the race. So of course, you know, Willie B, after having such a good run, um, well, not anymore, much like in real life. So, and actually this is perfect because we were about to pit this lap anyway. So we are pitting this time currently in fourth place billiam wyron man he wyland um so yeah this is actually perfect because we were about to pit this lap anyway so awesome primo stuff going on here um so rack him and stack him again uh we actually gain a spot on pit road actually overtaking blaney because then chase elliott's on the outside uh in second and then kurt bush who has been dominant since the very beginning is now in the lead now this is a very important step because like we can gain a lot of spots right here or i guess a spot because kurt bush just jumps ahead after turn one but actually getting past chase elliott here is primo that is prime real estate that we can easily just use to our advantage so as we go through the uh I want to say like the it's not like the back stretch because the back stretch is right behind that um but going through the uh the center of the charlotte roval i call it sector two because let's be honest here it's it is sector two um we get loose right there and then you're gonna see us get tight and chase Ellie gets past us so call me a choke artist call me chase because we just choked uh second place away But you know what? That's fine. So a long race to go. Over 35 laps to go. So we are fine. Just sit back and just click on laps. Um, so, okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We were talking about uh, the World War. So, you, of course, you'd probably know this. But everyone knows that, you know, what we thought was going to be World War Three. you know, with uh, Iran. You know, just in the beginning of the year. Um, what actually should have been World War Three was uh, um, was the uh, uh, 
the Bay of Pigs. Not Bay of Pigs, uh, Cuban Missile Crisis, which was started by the Bay of Pigs. But I'm going to find a very interesting uh, um, video for, for y'all in case you do want to know more about this. So essentially, what was everyone, because everyone knows what, um, what should have been World War III right there. But um, what isn't talked about is how there was a nuclear submarine actually off the coast of America that was locked and loaded in order to start shooting off missiles. But because of one officer's determination to not fire, because um, when they lost contact with the surface, they, um, by they, I mean, the, this was a Soviet uh, submarine, um, was uh, they had to have a unanimous decision by all three officers on board to fire missiles because they lost contact. They thought they thought the missiles were already gone. The one officer um, said no, and because of that, stopped World War III from going off. So let me let me find that video, Chad. Give me one hot second. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Cuban Missile Crisis. This thing. Um, it was... And if you want to know exactly at what moment... That's not right. I shouldn't, I shouldn't play that. Alright, so this video right here... And then if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, then you go to 2 minutes and 20 seconds in. And that's where that's where I'm uh, that's where I'm getting my information from. So, if there had been World War III, would there have not been a Vietnam War since they would, would likely coincide? Um, yeah, essentially. Well, okay. And that well, that kind of goes uh, with um, what was what we would define as World War III. I mean, like, if it would actually would have happened during like what they're talking about on October 27, 1962, um, then yeah, there would not have been a Vietnam. But obviously, if there was a, uh, um, if there was an Iran, you know, World War Three right there, then obviously, yeah, you know, it just it, it depends on what time period. So let me get y'all a uh, a proper World. Well, I love World War One, honestly. Um, One that's actually, like, information. Like, that is, like, you would actually enjoy. Oh, actually, I have one just for World War II. Um, um, let me tell y'all a story. I want to get my, um, get my facts straight, though, just to make sure... Uh, In, it was World War II, I know that. Okay, yeah, this one. Um, so, have y'all uh, ever heard of the... Uh, oh, God, I'm going to butcher this name. Um, in World War II... That's what I'm saying, like how World War II, we were in Japan and Germany. Yes, exactly. Then, then yes, in, in, in your case, then yes, that would have been it. Um, but here's the thing as well. <laughs> um, I'm going to butcher this name. Um, but have you ever heard of the person by the name of, uh, Maria? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, could... How do... Okay, how do we... Okay, hey, hang on, hang on, hold up. How do we say this? We're, we're gonna learn how to do it properly, chat. I know you guys don't know what I'm looking at, but... It's a, it's a Russian name. It's a Russian name, and I suck at Russian. Okay, how do we say this? Ak... Akskabitska. 
Atskavitskia. Okay, Maria Atskavitskia literally sold all of her possessions to donate a tank for the war effort. Um, so basically she sold everything. She gave everything away. And I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. Like, I know I kind of got separated from y'all there, but like, I do not know how to pronounce Russian names. Literally, it's Atskavitskia. And like, you, I would not be able to look at it. Like that T is damn silent. I'm sorry, it, it, it's this. It's a damn shame that I can't do this. So, her husband was killed in 1940, in 1941, and she sold all of her possessions in order to get a tank, and it would be donated to the war effort. Okay, on the grounds that uh, she would actually be able to drive it. You know, so she got trained up. And it was a T-34 medium tank, which, if you don't know what, what that is, it's this thing right here. Incoming link. Um, it was a T-34, and, um, and she named it the Fighting Girlfriend. Um, because of that, she was actually able to uh, like be of major use... Sorry, I can't pronounce Ragunatin. Okay, well, don't worry about it. No one ever needs to pronounce Ragunatin because he's not going to be relevant here anyway. Like, not here, but, like, in the racing world within a year anyway, so don't worry about it. Um, so, after that, so she proved her uh, ability and also was really brave throughout the entire war. This was in World War II, by the way. Um, she got promoted to the rank of sergeant. And, but unfortunately, she died in 1944 from battle wounds, which, if I'm, if I'm re remembering correctly, it was during the Leningrad Offensive, if I could be mistaken in that. Um, uh, can that not be a thing? Because I don't want to, I don't want Ragunatin. It's like saying, oh yeah, that's, I want Natalie Decker on my team. Do you not... That's trash. <laughs> no, that is hot garbage. I don't want Raguna on my team. I want Milky Boy, and I also want Baguette. If Riley Earps wins a race, you have to hire him. If Riley Earps wins a race, I lose my bet with Sublime, and then I have to get Riley Earps merch, sir. Um, so then, okay, so going back to this, is that she, she died from her wounds in 1944 and received the Hero of the Soviet Union, which is basically, I'm pretty sure their version of the Purple Heart. Yeah, it's, it was the Soviet's version of the Purple Heart, so there we go. Maria Atskiovitske. God. These bus stops are just absolutely killing me right there. I hit the curb, get way too loose, and I mean we we're, we don't spin out like we don't spin out at any point. But I know spoilers. Sorry, we don't spin out at any point. But it's still like so incredibly hard to not get loose, especially through the bus stop and this chicane right here. Anywho. So, T.A., does that answer your history fact of the day? I, I know I gave you, like, two. Because you said you want to know about World War Three, and uh, my choice of World War... Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff about uh, World War One I, I could talk about, but, like, I don't think anything that I... I don't think you guys would find interesting, personally. You can w walk to work. You don't have to take the bus. Huh? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I couldn't quite hear you. Which, by the way, welcome everyone. If you're just now uh, joining in, um, this is the Cup 12-track championship mode, race number 9. The last race of Heat 4. I know it's race number 9. But we are calling it the last race of this game. So, I... I'm sorry, I apologize for all you completionists out there, but basically, if we 
lead the points. Whoever's leading the points at the end of this race is just being called the champion. We are moving on with our lives. We are going to bigger and better things, and that bigger and better things is called Heat 5. Uh, let's see here. You underestimate my interest in history? Dude, same. Well, that's why, like, that. I don't want to just assume. Because my interest in history may not be your interest in history. Now, I'm not saying you in general. I'm just saying, like, when I say you, I mean chat. Because, like, but by show of hands, chat, are you guys interested in, in history? But just raise your hand. Metaphorically, raise your hand. And you said the bus stops are killing me. Oh, my God. That's such a dad joke. Stop. What is wrong with you? Man, all of my uh, people I, I race with um, in my leagues are uh, are downloading Heat 5 right now. And I'm not going to be able to get it until I pick it up tomorrow. So, rip. You're not buying it? Okay, well... I, I assume so, TA. You, you were always more of a uh, Formula One kind of person. At least not until I watch your stream design if I want it. Okay, well, don't worry about it. We got you. Oh! Chat, we got another caution! And if I remember correctly, this is Eric Almarola in his DNF. Which, by the way, right now, just to prove a point, you see how everything's starting to pixelate? And that's what I'm talking about. Now, if I was actually racing right now, it would look like hot garbage. So this is why I'm I'm doing it like this. Don't worry, chat. Like I said, I uh, I have my own I have my own uh, POV of this, and that will be up tomorrow. No, it's not an F1 thing. I just can't justify buying a copy and paste job. Okay, I see. Honestly, it I don't think it'll be that bad, my guy. But what I think is interesting is that Land I almost said Lando Norris. Landon Castle uh, and uh, Austin Dillon did not pit. Now, keep in mind, we have a average fuel run about 16, 17 laps. Um, and Austin Dillon and Landon Castle have about six, five, six laps of fuel left. So uh, with lap 33, um, we can basically say at most they will be pitting before lap 40. Now, the reason why we didn't pit there is because we don't want to rely on a caution coming out. Um, by not pitting, it means we have to pit under green. And by doing that, we can potentially dig ourselves a hole that we can't get out of. So now here we are. Hopefully we don't... Uh, this was the right call of uh, pitting with everyone else. Kurt Busch, uh, Chase Elliott back there. Um, all, we all pit and took four tires. So if this thing stays green, we have to pit with about three to five laps to go. So we'll have to see how this works out. Hopefully it works in our favor. TA says, uh, no, it's not an F1 thing. I just can't justify a, a copy and paste job. So I'm waiting uh, for gameplay before I decide. Okay. Understandable. It's probably the most responsible thing that, uh, I mean, before, like, I mean, like, unlike me, I just kind of just jump into this thing, so, because, like, you know, I love, I love these games, you know, I play it every day. Um, like I said, I, like, when I get it tomorrow, I'm already going to be cranking up. I'm going to be racing I can just tell you guys this right now because you guys are going to see it tomorrow anyway. Um, I'm going to be racing uh, a whole lot of rookies. So, like, I'm going to have this, uh, like, this series. It's not going to be on Twitch, but, I mean, I'll upload it to Twitch, but it'll be on my YouTube, actually, that will be racing as every single rookie for a full season. Um, and that's what I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with Christopher Bell in, I know, I have my, I, you hear this chat? This is my paper with all my ideas on it. 
Um, so I'm going to be starting with Christopher Bell tomorrow, and we're going to be racing 50 laps. Basically, it's going to be a 25 percenter season um, for uh, to see what we can do, honestly. It should be fun. Oh, wow, paper. Daniel, thank you, man. See, Daniel's a man of culture. He knows the value of pen and paper, which I've been I've been constantly like twiddling this uh, pen this entire time. Um, I call it a nervous twitch, call it something just to hold the mood, but like I've been like just twiddling this uh, pen this entire time. Uh, TA says last year they twisted my arm with Gordon content. Uh, the only thing Gordon I wouldn't jump on uh, is if he ran for president or something. Dude, same. Uh, okay, but that's the thing, you know, like, Gordon is going to be in Heat 5, my guy. Um, he's going to be in Heat 5, you can actually ha still have him as your spotter, but you can also have Tony Stewart. So, who should I who should I have? Should I have Tony Stewart or Gordon? Because I feel like having Gordon in uh, Heat 4 is one thing, but having, bumping that up and putting it to Stewart in Heat 5 would be something else because he's new you know he might as well have something new ta says gordon mm. well i have two accounts i could do i can do uh steward on one and gordon on another smoke at the start hmm, interesting which by the way chat i'm super excited tomorrow i'm gonna be racing uh episode one of career Of course, Stuart will tell you to bust someone's ass, so that could be fun. Dude, I hope they allowed him to... I'm not saying, like, improv his lines, but, like... <laughs> um, but, like, literally kind of have fun with it. Because, like, I feel like it's going to be so much... Like, if you, like, retaliate on a rival... Like, you know his, uh, his classic interview where uh, he's uh, telling him, like, I'm going to go bust his ass. And then, um, like, when uh, the interview's done, he's just like, no, thank you. That, like, after that, he's just like, thank you, you know? You know they didn't, though? I know, but, like, it would be so fun, though, if it, if it was. Uh, Daniel says he's getting uh, uh, Heat 5, and on, uh, on August 25th, he's getting the same with Madden 2021. Nice, man. One thing, okay, today I learned that... People, oh, not people, I guess. I, that's the croc, inc incorrect thing right there. Um, that golf games are still being made. Uh, when is uh, PGA 2K21 coming out? Because I just saw that literally today. PGA 2K21, August 21st. Today I learned that that's a game that's being made. I didn't know. I didn't know that golf games were still being made. Did anyone watch golf? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I I didn't know that. Like I said, today I learned. That's how much I pay attention to golf, you know? Hell, that's what I should be playing now. I mean I've been I've been I'm in the wrong streaming uh category. I shouldn't be racing in Heat 5, Heat 4, whatever. I should be streaming PGA 2K20. Only for Tiger Woods I watch golf. Okay, well I mean, and he's very off and on. I could have swore that there was an uncensored version of that interview that aired and I never and I can never find it. Oh, I'm sure there was some radio chatter of like of it actually ha as it happened. You you cannot tell me that there was not. Um, but yeah, you, but you know the interview I'm talking about today, so that's awesome. But like, I, I really wish, really, really wish that they could, uh, allow him to do the improv like that. But like, unfortunately not. I know it's not gonna happen. But yeah, tomorrow... Oh boy. Oh boy, howdy. I think it was only Steve Burns, um... Oh, dude, I miss Steve Burns so much. I've been actually watching a lot of, um... Oh, Steve, Bur Steve Burns on the hub. You know, like, old race hub. 
um, on speed, as well as um, Jimmy Spencer, his interaction with Jimmy Spencer and, you know, Jimmy Spencer's crying towel and all that. I really miss Steve Burns. Like, Steve Burns was funny. Jimmy Spencer also was funny. I wish that Steve Burns, like, if he was unfortunately, you know, like, if he wouldn't have passed, you know, I think he would make a fantastic commentator. You know? I would love to see what Steve Burns would be doing now. Exactly. What is Jimmy Spencer doing now, honestly? That's my question of the day, right there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That's not it. He's been inactive in the NASCAR community since leaving race up. Oh, rip, Jimmy. Probably Twitter j for uh, for Jimmy Spencer. I don't know. Because Mike Joy was a pit road um, reporter in the early 90s. Dude, I know, right? It's so weird to look at it. Like, um, like there was the uh, the Earnhardt, uh, the ri you know, the rivals, uh, Unrivaled. Um, the documentary for Earnhardt and uh, Gordon. And it was so weird seeing Mike Joy as a pit, uh, as a pit reporter. And he was interviewing uh, Jeff Gordon. I'm just like, dude, you guys are going to be commentating in 25 years. And that is so weird to think about. Exactly. T, we're talking about the same thing. I love it when a plan comes together. We did it again. We finished each other's. Okay, that doesn't quite work now that I think about it. Like, here I am talking. So, like, finishing each other's sentences doesn't quite work in real life right there. N not in this context. Dan, what are you talking about, man? We're having a conversation. It's fine. Like I said, this conversation's never on one-on-one. -on -one. Feel free to join at any time. We like we love the we love to talk here. We like to have fun here. <laughs> we finish each other's races. Call back. She doesn't show up in the store. Okay, people are people are uh like I said, people that I race uh, in my leagues with are downloading uh, Heat 5, and they're just like... And they're just like, how do I download? I'm just like, you gotta buy it, you know? You don't just get it for free. Uh, TA says, give him a diamond badge. He's been here a while. You know what, honestly, I should. I should, Daniel. You, you have been here a while. You've been following since January. Previously stuff for two months. Oh. He's an OG. Uh, he's not. He's not OG. OG is Guitar Hawk. Like he's been here the longest. Um. But uh, TA, you you're also here. Like, yeah, you you're OG. Um. God, who else is OG? Uh, David is OG. Um. Daniel was like wave two. When did I show up? You've been since August twenty fifth of last year, my guy. You're, you're OG, my guy. Uh, and I had an OG account before I made this one. I couldn't log in. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my God. Let's see. Like, I forgot. You've been... Okay, so you have been around for a while. I just forgot your original account. I just assumed that this was, uh, a thing. All right, there you go. Welcome to the VIP. When did I start? April. April of last year. But yeah, like I said, like, 
Guitar Hawk, I know, is like OG. Uh, David's OG. TA, you're OG. Um, I forget. I wish I could go back. Because I don't, I don't know if like there's a way I could anymore. Because you know they changed it so much. Um, if I can go back and actually see, see my followers. Because I know they they changed Twitch layout like so much. I I can't. I don't think I can anymore. So rip. What's up, Alpha? How you doing today? Gizmo, will Heat Five be in the PS4 tonight? Yes. Um, by based on what I've been seeing. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Who's talking about me? Um, is that, uh, is that people are already starting to download it. Did I miss a race again? Nah, son. This is the race. This is the race, Alpha. Uh, you are just 11 laps short of the end. And so not quite missed the entire race, but, you know, just in time to see the end. Yeah. Ah, you're just you're just going over it. Yes. Because unfortunately, I have to. Like I said, my uh, upload speed is like absolute hot garbage. So I'm trying something different. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only streamer that actually does it this way. But I think it's pretty cool. I think I think it's cool because it allows me to still talk to you. You know. Plus, I suggested the errors email. Yes, you did. I do remember that. NASCAR is OG, too, now that I think about it. NASCAR is OG. He's been around for a while. Not the Roval. The Roval's so much fun, dude. Like, you don't even... Anyone that disses the Robo, I don't get. Because, like, the Robo is so much fun. It's so satisfying. Uh, it's it's so satisfying to hit the bus stop, like, just the right way. And you can get so much speed coming off the final chicane. It is amazing, as I just totally uh, get loose right there and uh, almost just crash straight into the uh, billboards. You know, do an Eric Almarola from uh, 2018 and take the billboards with me. Or was that Chris Busher? I think that was Busher, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, no, wait, that wasn't even 2018. That was... That was 19. That was just last year. I ran Watkins Glen and thought it was better than, than the Ovals. Dude, all the road courses are better than the Ovals. Except, except Kansas. Kansas... Kansas is godly, and I've been hearing that from the people that have been playing Heat 5, that Kansas is the best. Not, not, not just, I shouldn't say Kansas, but like any track that you can race the high side on, so like Kansas, Homestead, Bristol, um, you are they are so satisfying to run the top, and I think that is today magnifique, you know? Do you have any thoughts on Heat 5? Um, I'm very excited to play it right now. Daniel, you didn't finish your career mode? Well, don't worry. I, I didn't finish it either. Like, I, uh, to be honest, I got bored with it. I mean, like, I'm very upfront with it. I got bored with it, and I just swapped over to championship mode. I find more enjoyment in racing championship mode than I do career, but hopefully Heat 5 changes that for me. And, oh my Lanta. Chat with 10 to go. We have a caution. So... What I think is very interesting is that you may not be able to see it, but Landon Castle made that strategy work. He didn't pit on the last caution, but Austin Dillon right there got lapped. You see? Uh, see there in the background? Austin Dillon got lapped. So unfortunately, he's going to be starting in the rear, like in 34th, I do believe. Um, and... <laughs> oh, rip Austin Dillon. And now, here we are, starting on the second row with Landon Castle as the leader. Oh, of course, with Kurt Busch on the outside, this is our perfect opportunity here. We flick up through the gears. 
go from first to second, and then you don't want to go to third uh, just quite yet, but, you know, want to just full throttle it right here. Kind of heavy foot it right now and go through the uh, throttle. Here. What we're going to do is use the in-car cam and then switch to the outro. We're trying to get to the outside of uh, Land and Castle going into the end of... Uh, end of uh sector two right here i i i forget the actual uh name of the corner because there is a name but i just call it the sector two but kurt pushes to our rsa chase it's on our rear giving him plenty of room plenty of room and we are clear so we just need to get down the landing castle and we can honestly just do that just lickety split just just by raw pace right there so we'll be good and to alongside to the lead hard 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 on the brakes make sure we don't mess up the bus stop and we don't perfect and there we go oh almost messed it up right there on the final end i hope that's gone in group five gizmo says i don't like uh i don't like it grew up near charlotte and i like the old style oh you don't like the uh, the roval gizmo oh i honestly i i really personally like the the roval I mean, like, I don't, obviously, I think it's good for the one race a year, you know, I, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun, you know, um, I don't think every track should be a roval, looking at you, Homestead, looking at you, ISM, uh, or I guess it's Phoenix now, because ISM didn't renew their sponsorship, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that a lot, um, that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, I'm gonna be calling Phoenix ISM, um, but yeah, I don't think every track should be a roll, but I feel like there should be only a handful. Like, I feel like Charlotte kind of works, and that's just my personal opinion, though. Um, Daniel says, I had a rebuy Heat 4 a couple months ago? Damn! Why? Uh, and just finished a hot seat for Hendrick, so I will have the option to drive the 40 or the 24. Oh, dude, that's gonna be the, the thing. Apparently, they made it a lot easier to uh actually uh uh they made it a lot easier to uh um get good ride offers as soon as you start your career mode apparently i don't know if this is true or not but according to real radman and heat 5 and if you start in trucks you automatically get a, a five-star ride so we'll see how that works i guess we're gonna be i guess we're gonna be doing career mode tomorrow so you're gonna see the first race the daytona uh, first energy 250. What's up, Blue Smoke? How are you doing? How are you doing today? Uh, and Spin, welcome to the party, man. Just in time. We have five laps to go in the race. Since my disc wasn't reading the disc. Oh, and the disc was fine. Oh man, it's, I think I remember you sent, telling me about that. Road cars are fun to watch for me, but I don't enjoy driving them in games and uh, slash sims. Oh man, Road America is actually my favorite road course out of every out of every game. I'm doing well, man. It's been a while since you've been around Blue Smoke. Um, let's see here. I've been missing out on messages. Uh, Alpha says, um, but I also did a hot seat for the number three car and for Richard Petty uh, Racing. So I have a lot of uh, choices for basically doing a rebuild for a NASCAR team. There you go, man. Um, I was extremely happy to see Landon get third and... Uh, Oh, Lando in the uh, the Austria race. Dude, that was a lot of fun. Lando is the, like I said, the best. As I just hit the wall right there. Good talk. Um, is the best out of, like, being able to put a smile on your face. I love Lando Norris. Um, and surprisingly enough, Charles Leclerc got second. Got second in uh with that ferrari how did he do that okay i we know how it happened it was a lot of luck and a lot of restarts but yeah he got there um duh, 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 i saw let's see here um i was extremely happy to see okay i said that i'm new to the f1 world so i was told uh i was told to like mclaren mercedes and ferrari red bull is bad red bull's fine Honestly, Red Bulls arguably has probably the best uh, driver, which is Max Verstappen. I mean, Lewis Hamilton almost is... He wants to leave. Valtteri Bottas has something to prove, so he has a giant monkey on his back right now. 
Same way as if he almost scored points in Williams, 9 DNFs. Dude, I know, right? It's probably going to be his best finish in uh, this season for a while now. Blue Smoke says, how did you like the Brickyard? I would give it a 6 out of 10, honestly. I mean, like, the there wasn't a whole lot of on-track action because... Um... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. because uh, I mean like no one could pass it's the package you know but um, the Brickyard was good in terms of the strategy because there was a lot of strategy at hand of course Denny Hamlin being given the short end of the stick um, on, uh, in, in terms of like everything um, but you know what it's Denny in, in his chat we hate Denny so it's fine um but yeah, you know, that race was his, like, let's be honest. It was Denny Hamlin's, and he got it. It got ripped from his cold, dead hands. Uh, yeah, TA, I read something over, um, like, before the season actually started that, um, he, like, he is potentially gonna be leaving here not at the end of this season, but at the end of next season. Man, how rough was that pit stop, a pit road mix-up, dude? That I'm just so glad that Ryan Blaney's uh, pit crew is fine. You know, like that is a h huge thing right there. That you know he was actually okay because like only having a fractured knee, that's huge. You know, I mean like after how violent of a hit he took, having his helmet like knocked clean off his uh, clean off his um, head like that. It could have been a lot worse. It was it was scary, exactly, Blue Smoke. TA says I feel like uh, he wouldn't do that unless Ferrari was actually winning a lot. I wish I could find the article, but this was like three months ago. Let me see. Let me do a quick Google search. Uh, oh yeah, it was actually, oh, found it. Okay, now, of course, this, take this with a grain of salt, TA. It's, it, take it with a grain of salt. Matt D was the Pence Pensy car at their home track, but then he crashed, literally, on the last lap. What were they even doing? What was Austin Dillon and Matty D doing? I have no idea. They were just up there ha just having a right funnel time. And then all of a sudden, now nah, it was like, we're good. I mean, he's in his mid thirties now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, but like same with like Vettel. So, Chad, we are on our last lap right here. So, how about the Xfinity race? Oh, my God. Those final five laps was the best. Like, I... It was, like, at those points where I feel like there is definitely a place for the Indy Road Course on the Xfinity schedule because those final five laps and Chase Briscoe literally Chase Elliotting the corner and still winning and speaking of winning coming off the final corner right now to the line jimmy johnson wins the final race of nascar heat four so i'm honestly perfectly okay with that that's actually pretty dang cool um being out beating out kurt bush who was dominant all day and basically keeping control of our mistakes you know i feel like that really allowed us to overcome the entire race and actually actually win so perfect yeah austin dylan definitely like sent like <laughs> everything audio and streamer out of sync you said uh he won when he was in turn one well i was just saying man because the the replay was over my dude it's not out of sync oh that's just when i said it Gosh. God, idiot. 
So yeah, there we go. So first place, 104. 104 speed rating. And as we look through the results here, Martin Truex Jr. actually uh, was very close to getting overtaken by Kurt Busch out of final turn, I mean. But yeah, that's what I said, yeah. I must be missing something here. I would be 39th of a pancake car at the Roval. I mean, honestly, man, it just takes practice. Like, I probably raced the Roval easily, like, 20 times. Like, I'm, I mean, like, as in, like, 25% or longer races. So, yeah. Um, we finished first. Martin Truex Jr. almost uh, got second taken away from him. Chase Elliott, awesome finish. Any, any finish that isn't a DNF is a good finish in my book. So, yeah. Uh, good stuff all around. Uh, Kyle Busch finished 10th. Ty Dillon and Michael McDowell. That is 2020 Michael McDowell right there in P11 there, sir. Um, weirdly enough, Ryan Truex in 19. A lot of names you don't really recognize uh, being up here. Road courses do that a lot, but also because like the AI just can't pass. Um, Austin Dillon still finishing 33rd after getting screwed after that yellow. So there we go. Hendrick <laughs> probs like always. Yeah, well, dude, Hendrick's the best. Unless you're William Byron. And then Hendrick's the worst. The black 48 car is haunted. I mean, dude, I'm so I'm so sad that Justin Allgaier wasn't actually properly able to show his skills in that 48. I mean, it was it's unfortunate. Hopefully he gets tagged to uh to run uh Kentucky. So yeah, um, we're going to be treating this as the finale. So hey, look at that. We won the Cup 12 track championship mode. Um, BJ McLeod gets a hefty 21 points. What a drive from BJ McLeod. How the hell do you do that? 21 points. The lowest. That is like Haley Deegan levels of bad. No Penske is the best. No lie. Oh, man. Those are fighting words for David, sir. JGR bums except Jones. Jones is beginning the short end of the stick. He's currently out of the playoffs. If you think about it, I think Eric Jones is honestly on the hot seat. Like if he doesn't, if he doesn't pick up the pace, you know, he's going to get outed. Uh, Kurt Busch has a fast lap. Kurt Busch also has the most laps led. But he didn't lead the final lap, which is the most important one. And then Landon Castle, look at that. Third 30th and finished 5th. What a absolute god. And then, of course, Eric Armroll sucks, you know, rounding out the rear for SHR. Woo. Till, uh, today I learned Staden Barrett is a stuntman. Really? He's a, he's a stuntman? Well, today I learned that as well. So should I drive the 24, 48, 43, or the 3? Uh, 3 because Austin Dillon sucks. Dang, Deegan hate. I'm just saying, my dude. I'm just saying. Haley Deegan is pretty bad, let's just say. I mean, that's my hot take of the day right there. 